Right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well a Aries Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May May 11th to May 17th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a, a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, with that being said, as well, you know, if you want to attend to my tarot classes as well, you're going to find a, an information at my website under uh, the um, section of a tarot classes. So that being set aside, moving to the spread straight away here, the first card, which represents the general topic of your week, Aries, is going to be uh, the Justice card. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That will be the card of the Five of Swords. Followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That will be the hangman. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That will be the five, uh, the six of pentacles, I'm sorry. Followed by the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. Or in other words, how people are going to take you. Uh, that will be the... Um, page of pentacles and the last one which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering for you for throughout the week that will be the eight of cups right so um let's uh, move straight away into it so the first um first impression that i get from those cards it is that uh, in this week um uh, the, the right expression here is not like you are making up your mind it's more like you are stating yourself and pretty much displaying the uh the verdict that you do have in terms of a uh, enterprise that has come up on uh, into the future on the enterprise which is unfolding at that particular stage and that is um displayed here with those a couple of cards so we do have the energies those are the energies of the five of swords and what those energies does is that they are making you grow increasingly tunnel visioned in regards to a you know a thing that you do want to push through regardless if that's about career or regardless if that's about a relationships as well and it makes you more emotionally detached to the once again emotional aspect of the whole situation so in other words you are to have a, a logical judgment rather than a, an emotional judgment over your career and relationship and that is going to lead you to the situation of the justice card which is actually a quite good thing which uh, means that uh, throughout the week you know it is because you are going to have that say uh, rather logical and very mature accurately displayed judgment upon um uh, the, the the dynamic into your career and into your relationship uh you will be able to structure very well what kind of priorities you need to take on first and then last so you can attend to everything with um or to everything that you need to attend to as well um with uh, the reciprocal with reciprocal attention, therefore, nothing have been left overlooked, nothing have been left unchecked, nothing have been left unattended. Additionally to that, uh, this uh, cold logic that you are to have throughout the week itself uh, will allow you to um, exert an astute discernment in terms of what is important and what isn't, what you can go on with and what you cannot go, go on with as well, what you can live without and what you cannot live without and also will allow you to uh, assemble, if I may say it that way, um, if you will plan that will be very very effective moving forward into the future, especially if we're talking here about a, uh, a career endeavors. Uh, but the cold logic you are to exercise, it may look ruthless, really, um, especially into the eyes of others, uh, but it is nothing less than a uh, judgment, law and uh, order, if you will, have been brought to bear. And at some point, someone needs to do the tough action. Someone needs to, to, call the, uh, to make the tough calls. And that's you in this uh, in this particular uh, week. One more thing here I'd like to say in regards to those two cards. It is that uh, those energies are going to make you increasingly suspicious about where you're placing your trust at. 
and for that reason throughout the week you may discover uh, through the the discernment that you are going to have it is that there are certain individuals and certain people as well in term of your uh, in term of your life and in, in your environment and as well into your social circle are not actually as devoted to you as you thought they are they are not actually as sincere and they are not actually as candorous as uh, they are trying to present themselves that they are therefore you are to avoid placing your trust into the wrong hands okay and instead of ending up disappointed and being betrayed moving forward into the future uh, you are to be more conservative about how much you pretty much place your hopes at a certain individuals so that moves us to the next one which represents the challenges that you have to overcome here that is to be the challenge of the hangman and it only um how can i say it, it only touches to the results of your actions like I said your actions are to be very well managed according and amongst the um not the challenges but the um the responsibilities you have to attend to throughout the week and it's because it will seem, I mean, you're going to have the feel and not just only the feel, but the logical assessment that you have done a really exceptional job in terms of um, managing uh, relationship affairs, managing career affairs as well. You would expect that by the end of the week, you are going to uh, actually reap a great result, which unfortunately is not going to happen. It is because the uh, the whole process, it does need a little bit more time. So your uh, your challenge here is not to fall into a frantic state where you think that you're doing the wrong thing. It's because results are not going uh, are not coming around and doing the worst possible. It is to fall into panic. So just do your part and wait patiently for the results to unfold, which will which should take place in a couple of weeks or maybe a, a month. But the hangman is very pronounced with its delays uh, because those delays are associated with a, uh, a test of fate, if you will, and as well simultaneously a, broke, uh, a breakthrough. And usually they are related to exterior circumstances that you have no control over, like, for example, weather, like, for example, someone else that needs to do their part as well and so on and so forth. But the bottom line here, Aries, is that you have done the best you could, even better than that, you have done more more that actually people around you anticipated that you will be able to and now it's uh, all that it is left or you are going to do it throughout the week and at the end of the week moving forward you have to rest your case if we can say it that way and um, wait for the results to actually shape as they are now depending on a exterior circumstances that you have no control over Moving next, we are having the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. And that will be the gift and the blessing of the Six of Pentacles. So quite of a contradictory card, which is what we do have here. A pretty much points that you are not going to be bereft from a, an assistance of the people around, you know, of your colleagues, for example, or of your friends. That is one blessing that you can enjoy unfortunately that blessing is not going to go for a long way is because neither of those helps actually can resolve the issue for you the best that can do or what you can hope at best is to prolong the inevitable so in other words to give you a bit of a time of respite however the biggest blessing that we do have with the six of pentacles it is that you're actually going to be strong enough or resourceful enough if you will to resolve your own issues so in other words while you are going to enjoy the scenery of having a lot of people you know commiserating commiserating to you and offering you a help simultaneously you are going to be able or manageable or kind of like you will be able to manage to resolve it on your own accord and therefore save that help for something that you, that it will be really a uh, a close call where the help is going to make a difference because here it doesn't look like that is going to be and another gift and blessing it is that we do have with the six of pentacles it is that things are going to take their natural course meaning that uh, it is highly unlikely here for you to do a wrong thing throughout the week and as well wrong things to happen to you or things that are not supposed to happen to you to happen to you so what is the impression that people are going to have 
uh, seeing you around throughout the week. That is to be the impression of the uh, Page of Pentacles. Um, some people are going to be quite surprised seeing you, how devoted you are to uh, your life and as well to your responsibilities into one particular door as the Page of Pentacles. It is, uh, how can I say it, it's, it's more devoted to one thing than the others. But also people are going to see you as a very well managed um, manager of your resources because with the page, page does not invest into things that doesn't make any sense to them and as well are very conservative of how much they do invest. So this is how people are to see you. And those who are offering you a help, as we can see into the gifts and the blessings, they will know that that will be a resourceful action is because you will be, a, you, when they ask you, when they ask you back, they will know that you will be able to make a difference into their affairs. Uh, another thing about the page here, which uh, it's a more practical manifestation than a spiritual one, uh, if I may say it that way, it's something very um, situational. It is that uh, when, it, when, when we talk about a friendship and the page appears, that friendship definitely has the potential to cross a line, okay? And that being said, one specific individual, which is a friend of yours here, as we do have the page of how people see you, they may see you as a someone more than just a, a friend, whatever that's supposed to mean. And the last one that we do have, it is uh, the um, guidance that Tara is offering, that is to be the Eight of Cups. So kind of neutral uh, here with the Eight of Cups, because uh, the Eight of Cups pretty much points that um, while you are to be dappled with so much activities throughout the month, not everything is to be meant for you to develop. And therefore, uh, you are pretty much going to recognize through the consistency and as well through the, uh, how can I say it, a smooth development, what exactly you can develop and what you cannot develop and this is where the astute discernment i talked about at the start of the reading is play a is playing a, a huge role for you and especially if we touch the subject of the friendships that you are to pretty much identify that you are placing hopes into people that simply do not deserve so uh, based on those facts uh, there could be a small disappointments here and there uh in into your week those disappointments um, as a guidance card they should not be a prerequisite for you to slow down your pace or to muffle your drive and uh, while you know certain situations throughout the week may prove themselves a bit misfortunate and things that you would rather not want to have around fact is a fact you can't do much about it then just you know swallow it and um, move on to a better perspective so pretty much the guidance card is all about uh, not stopping to uh, to search and to reconnoiter for your happiness and for your success despite that at some of your um, some of your opportunities that you may take throughout the week are to prove not exactly futile but let's say worthless okay so that being said this was your a, a weekly general tarot reading areas for uh, may 11th to may 17th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as soon as you purchase within 24 hours i'm going to contact you via email giving you a, a details how your reading is going to take place and please check your spam and junk email in case you have not received my um pretty much my follow-up on your purchase so um hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then bye